Barangay Santa Ines, Post of a Small but Picturesque Chapel along Captain Mamerto Palo Street Corner, Vicente G. De La Cruz Street, formerly Sampaguita Street. The chapel is dedicated to the barrio patroness, Santa Ines, as chosen by an early resident of the place, Ines Basilio. The 500 square meter corner lot on which the chapel stands was one of the prime properties of Don Vicente de la Cruz, an affluent hacendero and a former mayor of the town who had the lot registered in his name in the year 1919. Ever since one can remember, he had been lending the vacant lot to the barrio as a venue for the annual Lenten festivities, where activities like Babasa, Senacodo, Palm Sunday, and Salubong were held. The chapel had its beginnings in 1964 during the term of Barangay Captain Jesus Palo when a simple visita made of concrete and walled with bamboo and sawali panels partitioned in two was erected on the side. The altar featured a niche where the sacred antique image of Santa Ines owned by the family of Mr. Ernesto de la Cruz was enshrined. When not in use today, the chapel served as a classroom for elementary school kids, handled by pioneer teachers Miss Aurelia Tiglao, now Estrada, and Miss Concepcion Pare, now Valbuena, from 1965 to late 60s. A call for a more permanent chapel to be built was enthusiastically heeded by Santa Ines residents led by businessman Mr. Benancio Tatang Asyong Polycarpio Sr. and his family. As the Polycarpio family recalls, it had been raining incessantly for days in Mabalakat with no signs of stopping. Their father took this as a sign to begin the chapel project so that the Almighty will be pleased and the rain will abate. As soon as the residents saw the structure rising, ledges came pouring in. Imang Marina Maring Policarpio, wife of Tatang Asyong, took charge in collecting the people's contributions in whatever amount every 15th of the month. Social civic youth groups led by the siphoners held fundraising projects and lent their skills and talents get the project moving. And so, in the first quarter of 1972, the visita was demolished to give way to a new, modern structure designed by architect Lito Avila, a siphoner member. The main entrance to the chapel was reoriented to face the street, leading directly to the highway, now the Mamerto Palo Street. The new all-concrete chapel was symmetrically designed with a low-picked roof and open sides, outfitted with a large crucifix and altar table. Upon the death of the spouses Vicente and Felipa de la Cruz, the lot title was transferred to their children and their spouses. Enrico Lim de la Cruz married to Cristina Antonia de la Cruz, Emiliano Lim de la Cruz married to Elsie Castro de la Cruz, Hindelberto Lim de la Cruz, Ubaldo Lim de la Cruz married to Caridad Garcia de la Cruz, Felicima Lim de la Cruz married to Noli Pasion Kyok, and Adelaida de la Cruz Olalia in 1980. They continue to allow the chapel to remain there even as major renovations were done in 1989 through the early 1990s. The lateral parts were expanded to accommodate the carroza of the patroness used during processions. The right side was funded by Mr. Anthony D, while the left side 
by Ramiro Mungkal. The chapel also had a bell, but the two original bells was lost, and it was replaced in 2005 through the Datu family, who contributed funds for a new bell that now hangs in the bell tower. The last renovation was undertaken in 2017 during the term of the Chapel Pastoral Council Coordinator Nico Galang Lapuz, and once again, with support from the chapel's major patrons, the Policarpio family and the barangay residents. The sanctuary was completed through the help of Miss Yolanda Galang Lozano. The altar was refurbished. A new ceiling was installed. The new roofing was installed. New chandeliers were installed. The restroom was tiled and renovated. The garden was brick and landscape. And the whole chapel was repainted. A little more was left for the purchase of Maitines lanterns. The chapel and its new altar were blessed by Archbishop Emeritus of the Archdiocese of San Fernando, His Excellency, Most Reverend Pasciano B. Aniceto D.D. on the 21st of January 2019. And now, the chapel land title was transferred to the Archdiocese of San Fernando, Pampanga, which was facilitated by the grandchildren of Don Vicente and Doña Felipa de la Cruz and the 2021 Santa Ines Pastoral Council. And today, the Chapel of Santa Ines is a well-known barangay landmark, a testament to the deep faith and community spirit of its good and devout people. <music>